Happy New Year and welcome to 2017 where that's has got a week in nearly um, and I think every day as usual is like all the things that we're going to do, all the changes we're going to make and I'm sure if you're over the age of 18 months <laughs> you realise that change is the only complicated thing that we really have in our lives and there's a very, a very good reason for that. We are programmed and we have all these programs and habits and things that we've learned in our subconscious mind which is really the body and um, when we try to change things when we take our mind to something new we think oh well, that's what we'll do we'll go to the gym we'll start eating healthily we'll start being nice to people um, and then we take our eye off the ball and we keep within a, a short space of time we, re we, we realize we're doing the same old things over and over again um, and that's just because it's a program, that's all. But we can override that programming with um, all the different techniques that we have available to us. Now, I'm sure you can't have lived on this planet and have the internet without having uh, seen some uh, chat about letting go and rewiring, reprogramming, etc. Two things that you need to get clear on. One, what would you love? You know, you're probably fairly clear on what you don't love. So that gives you a good um, hint as to what you would love. Um, so it's very clear. Get clear on what you want. Absolutely crystal clear on what you want because you need to start thinking about you want, what you want and you need to start feeling what you want. And then the most important part, I think, <laughs> is the letting go of the old, letting go of the old reactions, the limiting beliefs, the old perceptions, the old way to think and the old way to be and do. Because we are, according to Joe Dispenza and other scientists like him, we, by the age of 35, we are living through the past. Now, I don't know about you, but I find that quite embarrassing. And what a waste of this incredible energy system. The new quantum field and the quantum physics that we're really starting to learn about now, and more and more scientists are coming out, giving us more information. It's the most exciting stuff I think I've ever heard. Um, we are an energy system that is in communication with other energy beings and this, the energy of the universe. And we have quite a phenomenal uh, capacity to change our lives. And obviously my passion is to heal. Now Joe Dispenza is, uh, in his advanced workshops, is having people healing in real time. Um, and that might be a bit hard for you to imagine if you're not into this kind of stuff, but it's actually, it's about changing the frequency of your brain because we're electromagnetic in nature. We, we give off an electromagnetic field and that is measured by heart math. This is all measured science, which is what everybody seems to love. Um, but it was always the case even before science um, came, came about and it was able to measure it. Um, that we are, we have this energy that comes off of us, and we uh, we intermingle with other sentient beings. Our cells mimic and communicate with each other. We are quite literally all in this together. Um, and from a healing perspective, that's super exciting um, because the potential in the field for self healing is now well. People are doing it. That's the bottom line. And if you don't understand or know that, I highly recommend you start researching because we're, the way we're approaching health now is really quite outdated and old-fashioned when you start to learn this new stuff. Um, the power is all within us. Our hormonal system and our pineal and pituitary gland, we've got our own inner pharmacy that can create all the chemicals that we need, which is great news for free. We just need to learn how to change the frequency of the brain, how to change the electromagnetic field so that we can start to see and perceive the world, the reality that we would all love, which surely is healthy, happy, vibrant beings that live in peace. What could be so difficult about that? So combining my techniques, well, they're not my techniques, but the amazing Sedona method, which is still one of my favourite, from Hale Dwoskin, EFT, Byron Katie's The Work, um, Access Consciousness, The Questions, um, the, and obviously now Joe Dispenza's incredible, incredible work. Um, we're just we're just having such a ball. All of us that went to see Joe Dispenza in London and spend that progressive workshop, we're still buzzing. You know, all these months later, 
every he's just put new testimonies up right now. It is quite simply the most phenomenally exciting information I have ever heard. And we, every, it levels every single person on this planet, we all have exactly the same capacity if we believe, if we'll even open our mind to believe it is possible. Can you heal from stage four cancer by thought alone? Yes, people have done it. Now that might be a huge stretch for you, but I'm sure there's lots of things that we didn't believe 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that we're now starting to go, wow. So don't be one of these people that says, well, that's a lot of rubbish. It's too good to be true. Do a little bit of research. This guy gives away tons. Read his book, You Are the Placebo. Breaking the habit of being yourself. Watch his videos on YouTube. There's hundreds of them. Watch his testimonies and start raising your frequency, changing your electromagnetic field to trust, joy, faith, love. It's far more fun, far more fun. And guess what? When you start to feel these feelings, the body, the cells rearrange themselves and the body goes back into balance because we don't actually do the healing. We know that when we cut the skin, the cells start to stretch and start the healing process. But we don't do that with our conscious mind. That just happens. The heart just beats, the food just gets digested and the healing just happens as well. When we're not in the body, thinking negative thoughts, com comparing ourselves to others, competing, judging. No, that's that's what destroys the body. Yes, as, as obviously food's important, but as Joe Dispenza says, you'll just get organic fear. It's the fear we need to move away from. Moving from fear into faith. You have two choices in how you live your life. You can either live it in a fearful way or you can live it full of love and trust. It's our choice. And even if you are going to die tomorrow, would you not rather enjoy today living in love and joy? But the problem is right now, how do you do that when people are oppressively telling you that you're going to die, that you're sick, you've got this, you've got that, it's incurable, it's aggressive, it's terminal, it's inoperable. All these words that are getting thrown around. And from a certain point, standpoint from a, a certain outdated viewpoint yes they were true but now we're understanding they're not true they're absolutely not true that you're probably not going to see this in the news for a while or you're probably not going to read it in a newspaper for a while when we were in london i was like why is this not on the news is it because the grip of the pharmaceutical companies it's crazy but anyway thanks to the internet we don't need to wait the 17 years that they reckon it normally takes for information to drip out from discovery out into the masses. We can go on and do our own research. And the thing about Joe Dispenza's work is it's not a walk in the park. You still have to do it. You have to take the time out of your day. You have to commit yourself. You have to be disciplined. You have to focus. You have to intend. That is how you get the result, no matter what it is you're trying to achieve. But within that, you let go and you trust and surrender that the universe, the energy, the chi, the prana, God, whatever name you want to give it, this intelligence, the intelligent field that we are living in, will do the rest when we put the correct information out, when we put, we put the correct light out from this incredible energy system we call the body. So if you would like any help with that, please give me a call. I do free consultations. And then we can work on Skype, FaceTime, whatever, phone. Um, and take that commitment, make that commitment to yourself. What is it that you really want this year? This is a great time to really have a look at it. What areas, your health, your wealth, your relationships, are not exactly the way you want them to be? How do you feel on a daily basis? Are you living in stress and fear? Are you destroying your body? Or are you enjoying your body? Because that's your options. So if you need any help, send me a message. I'm happy to give you a free consultation. Then you get a, a set of five sessions that will really turbo boost your start to the new year. And I will talk to you soon. Ciao.